Some acts of random kindness to innovative restaurant plans and languages made easy. It's been an interesting few weeks since we've kicked off our Start Your Own Business competition and met each of the five competitors. But uh, last and, it has to be said by no means least, on the list is Alan Carey and his uh, business born out of a passion for cycling. It's called Piranha Bike Care Solutions and uh, Alan joins us this morning along with Fiona McLaughlin. Good morning to you both. Um, Alan, morning. nice to meet you. Good morning. And uh, people who, uh, who follow canoeing will know you, of course, because you represented Ireland in, in the Olympics, so uh, welcome. Uh, and you're obviously a competitor and you're determined and you've got focus, so you apply that to your business and you're, you're halfway there. I'm assuming that uh, Piranha Bike Care Solutions is fairly self-explanatory, but just in case I'm wrong, <laughs> tell us what it's about. <laughs> Um, it's a company that we specialise in, in all aspects of maintaining bikes, right from cleaning to, to maintaining chains. Um, it's for commuters right through to, to, to professional bike riders. And is there a gap in the market or do you feel the market is not serviced properly at the moment? Um, most of the products that are on the shelves in Ireland at the moment are brought in from continental Europe and from across the water. Um, unfortunately Italians um, don't have the same weather conditions that we do so it's ridiculous that we use the same products that they do on our chains because they're instance. not suitable for our climate absolutely not I mean a, a, a three-hour spin in Wicklow mountains is nothing to do with a three-hour spin in Italy and um, so what people were finding that some of the products um, or most of the products didn't suit Irish conditions no, are they expensive sorry and um, yeah I mean you've got to, you've got the aspect of shipping into Ireland um, which is a huge cost which we don't have um, and we also have one of some of the best chemical companies in the world in Ireland so we tapped into that resource and uh, we gave them a product and we told them to improve it which we have done um, significantly I mean our, our products are eco-friendly they're non-alkaline based which all our competitors products are mm. so we've improved it and, and done very Do we have there. any stats on how many officially or unofficially um, um, on how many bikes or cyclists there are in the country? It's, it's, it's impossible to, it's, it's one of these um, sort of on the side sports. I'm going to give you a very good, for instance, Sean Kelly, for instance, had a, a, a charity event in Waterford recently and 3,600 amateur cyclists turned up for it. Um, mm -hmm. They wouldn't be a member of any organisation. They just love riding wow. their bikes. Are your products just for more professional types or even amateur enthusiasts or are they geared at everybody who owns a bike and prolonging the life and the, the, the viability of your bike as well. Absolutely. Anybody who owns a bike should be looking after it. I mean, it kills me to see kids going around, even housing estates with their bikes and their chains squeaking. I mean, it's a simple can of oil to look after the bike right up to the professionals. But everybody should look after the and bike. And the same s standard of product, is it suitable for all, all levels or is there a different Absolutely sorts of Absolutely no. There's, 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 I mean, the products are, are available to everybody. Oh, well, what are you planning? What's your outlet network? Uh, if for, I mean, we're, we're rolling out in Ireland. We just started last Friday um, going into the retail stores in Ireland, um, of which is about 150 retail stores. Um, so we started that. We've covered South County Dublin and we're working our way up. Um, we're See, being considerably older than all of you, I grew up in an era when there were bike shops all over the place. I mean, there were half a dozen of them um, down at the, well, two at the bottom of the hill where I lived in, 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 in Cork. There was another about three streets down, and the further you went into town, they were all over the place because people used them. Mm -hmm. Now I can think of one that I know of between Sutton, Holt, uh, Donham, and, and Donamy, or maybe two. Mm -hmm. in, and that's a big chunk of North Dublin. But you have more bike superstores now, I think, really, don't you? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you've got the cycle superstore in Dublin, cycleways. They're very specialised. They buy, they buy their, their, their volumes a little bit bigger so they can give out products cheaper. So they tend to, to suck up the smaller shops. Mm. So it's concentrated more. And, and have you got a toehold in with these organisations? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we, we got into uh, all the top shops in Dublin in the last couple of days. Um, and then we're rolling it into the UK in the new year. Um, and then... We're doing a trade fair in Germany next October, and with with a view to to, to break in the European so you market. You eventually to be selling this product back to the Italians, do you? Uh, well, well, back. No, we're actually maybe the pace of the, the dodgy weather, like us, perhaps. <laughs> well, we're, we, I, to be honest with you, more Belgium, Holland, uh, UK is where we feel that we, mm. that, that we'd be able to break the market a little bit better. And of course, e economically. Um, it's kind of a good time for bikes because people are cutting their cloth according to their measure uh, and the combined thing of, well, it's a cheaper form of transport and also healthier, you could be catching a wave here, hopefully. And the bike to work and, scheme and, as well, which helps matters. it is a big market, just to give, give an idea well, of size, you know, when, know when you're actually. talking about how many cyclists, we are guesstimating the amount of, of cyclists in each of the markets at the moment and the amateur cyclists, or what Alan calls the leisure cyclists, are actually one of the, um, the biggest target markets that I think that, that this product is going to go after. But between the UK and Ireland, the market is worth around 100 million.
um, the, the bike maintenance what market. What percentage of that do you hope to tap into now with these, this new range of as products? As much as possible. Well, <laughs> you must have some idea. Well, well, I'll tell you, it's early days. Yeah. I, Come on. I'll tell you, no, actually, that is what they call the Chinese glove approach to, to, to um, building your business. You know, I, I'm making gloves. There's a billion, over a billion people in China. I want 10% of that, and I'm on the crest of a, of a wave. Yeah. Actually, what, we, what I'm always trying to get people to do is to tell me how they're going to get their first customer. Uh, and how it goes from there and how they're going to build it. So I really try and pull people back from saying, oh, I want a 10% market share. So you're not going to say, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if no. when you were, when you, I mean, like, you had to go through hundreds of these applications and, 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 and all the rest yeah. of it. What was it about this one that caught your fancy? Well, there was, there was a number of things. A, Alan himself was imminently investable. He was obviously somebody who strives after success. He's, he's been an Olympian twice, actually. Um, and the other thing was that he had, he had experience in business it was linked to the the property sector so obviously had started to dwindle he realized he had to diversify so he'd made all the right business moves thus Flexible. far mm. then what he was doing was going into an area that he knew uh, and had a passionate about the whole area of sport and not just cycling the product itself he didn't just go and source a product that he wanted to distribute he looked at the products that were available here wasn't happy with them uh, and reproduced them himself himself with the help of a um, uh, product development company and uh, the so product did it as, uh, yes so the product is, is not just going on the shelves because it's an Irish product, it's going on the shelves. I mean, he's had fantastic success. They are the five biggest shops, bike shops in Ireland that he has signed up since last Friday. I mean, that's, that's fantastic feedback. And that's because they're not just uh, effective and do the work, but they're kind also to the, to the bike as well as to the environment. Although that is a lesser, mm. you're getting the feedback Products that that's times, a, a lesser issue. Mm. Once, it's kind, once it works and it's kind to the bike, which the other solutions aren't, that's amazing selling point Cost for wise compared to other products of, of its type is it similar or less or more uh, we've tried to we've tried to make it less mm. where possible and we, we've managed to do that so um, pitching what 10 15 20 percent below the uh, we're typically about 10 15 percent yeah yeah okay yeah. Best reason all to buy it as absolutely. Well. absolutely well it's good and it's cheaper yeah. and it's Irish so there's three very good reasons so thank you very much nice to meet you sir I, I suspect that you're much. a man who's going to be successful at whatever you attempt and uh, this part this venture I hope will be no different um, We'll be back uh, talking with you uh, um, later or next week, uh, but just to recap, it's been five fascinating weeks. Uh, in